What's good, everybody? It's your boy Glohan here, and today I got a little quick tip for you guys. Um, so this really applies to VSTs mostly. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a point in doing it with samples, but I find this project to be the perfect example to demonstrate this on. By the way, this project was sent uh, by my homie Duende. Um, I'm going to finish it. It's going to be a cold ass beat. But without further ado, what I'm going to teach you guys today is basically uh, he reversed this sound. Now, obviously, it's a sample. I could go in, I could click reverse. But do I really want to do that? It's a question. So, and actually, I, I actually did try to do that. And it, for some reason, it didn't sound how I thought it would sound. So, um, how do you solve this, basically? Um, well, first, let's get to the problem. So, what he did was he used gross beat, right? And he used the reverse effect on gross beat. It's cool, right? You know, it reverses your sound, you know, if you're using the VST especially, like a VST that doesn't allow you to edit samples and reverse the sound, let's say Nexus, and you want to get a reverse type of sound from Nexus, you're going to go to gross beat and reverse it, right? Here's the problem. What happens is the first full bar is silent. Not only is the first full bar silent, but the rest of the melody is going to be off beat. It's going to be on beat because it's still going to be quantized or whatever. But like basically where you thought you placed your drums are going to come at a um, like a later spot in the sound, basically. And you want everything to be how you want it. So you know you don't want any instances where you can't control something. And this is one of those instances. So I'm going to teach you guys how to fix this problem. And like I said, this is mainly for VSTs. But as you can see, I'm working with the sample here. It's going to work the same way. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up an Edison. Now that you got the Edison to open, you're going to uh, mute your drum pattern. And also, you're going to go to your sample mixer slot or insert and you are going to disable all of the FX slots on that uh, insert. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to get the original sample with none of the effects so that when you record it into Edison, what happens is you can just drop it back into this insert and it will sound exactly the same. So now that you got that ready. What you're going to do is you're going to go back to the Edison you open. And I, I got to mute the microphone because what's going to happen is I'll, I'm going to press record and it's going to start recording my voice. And you don't want that. So I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit record. And I'm going to press play on the playlist. And it's going to record with plays instead of my voice. So I'm about to demonstrate that. All right, so we got the part that we need. And um, I forgot who did the video, but I found out about recording shit into Edison like this through an internet money video. I forgot who was the um, the actual person who did the video. But uh, shout out to internet money for that. And, you know, I'm just applying what I learned from that video into basically my own uh, problems. I'm solving my own problems using that. You know, I had no clue you could record shit that you play in the playlist into Edison. I had no clue you could do that. And that's pretty cool. Out of all my years using FL, I never knew. So <clears throat> basically, you want to find where the sample loops at. And I'm pretty sure that's right here. Yep, right there. So now you're just gonna cut this part out. And 
you got to drag your sample back here. And I don't know if it's right, if it lines up perfectly. Yep, so it's, it lines up perfectly. So now I'm going to play it. But I forgot the most important part. Whoops. What you actually want to do, go back here. Delete that. And you want to um, hit reverse, actually. Now, you can't see the drop down menu, but you click the wrench. Once you click the wrench, you go to the time section in the drop down box and you hit reverse. Or you can hold the Alt key and the left arrow and it'll do the same thing. So it'll reverse. So, yeah, now that you got your sound reversed, now you can place it back. This is the whole goal of the tutorial. <clears throat> now it's completely reverse with no delay at all. So now we can go to insert one here and we can either mute the gross beat that has reversed on it or we can just take it out completely. We don't need it anymore. So it's gone now. Leave everything else. Re-enable the FX slots. Go here. Click this to one. Bam. No delay at all. Everything's right where it needs to be. And we can play the difference now. Well, actually, we can't play the difference because I took the reverse grow speed off. So... <laughs> Fuck the difference. We're going to delete that. <clears throat> you don't need that anymore. And now we're just going to drag this up. We're going to play it. on B now um a lot of you guys like to ask questions in the comments and um I'm gonna answer an important question here because some of you guys don't pay attention to the videos or some of you guys don't watch it all the way through and uh, basically I'm gonna answer the question this is gonna be a stupid question to answer but I'm going to re-explain everything I just did because sometimes people watch things they don't pay attention Afterwards, they're like, what was the point of all this? So I'm going to explain it. Like I said before, and this mainly applies to VSTs. You know, if you're using Nexus, you can't just reverse it. You know, maybe you can. I don't know. I never reverse shit Nexus, Electra X, none of that. Um, but basically, if you have a VST, right, you play the keys, right? but you want it reversed. You don't just want the keys to play in a backwards order. You actually want that reverse sound. Um, like things are actually going backwards type sound. You can record it in Edison. Bam. But that's an easy tutorial to do. Just say, okay, you can record it in Edison, reverse it, blah, blah, blah. That's how you do it. I want to solve a problem. And the problem here to solve was that a lot of people think gross beat reverse is the way to do it. And it's not, um, unless you want to keep your VST. Like if you want to keep the notes that play, then you can use the gross beat reverse. But then again, it's still going to be off beat or it's going to be delayed. It's not going to be off beat, but it's going to be delayed. It's still going to have rhythm to it. But what I'm saying is uh, this is the way you do it. So you don't have to use the gross beat reverse. It's still decent. You guys can go back to the beginning of the video, see how it was before. 
Um, hopefully I solved the problem for you guys. Maybe I didn't. Let me know in the comments below if I solved the problem for you guys. Um, you know, I enjoy solving problems, you know. Enjoy helping people. Why not? You know, why not? I got a platform to do it on. It's completely free. All you got to do is sit through an advertisement. Why not? So, yeah. Thumbs up the video if it helped you. Comment below. Let me know. Let me know what you want to see next. This video might just end up on private next year, but for good reasoning. And I'm going to let you guys know what's going on, actually. Um... You know, I always take the end of my tutorials to ramble on. And um, basically, 2018, I'm planning on getting like a, a good-ass camera, damn near vlogging camera, whatever. And I'm going to start shooting cook-ups and tutorials and shit. It's going to be looking like crazy. It's going to look cold as hell. So I'm going to start shooting cook-ups and tutorials and shit like that. I'm going to get a better screen capture program because I hate... How you guys can't see drop down menus and right click menus and shit. So I'm going to get a better screen capture. And um, if you guys can recommend any of them, even if they're not free, you know, I, I'm willing to pay for a subscription for a video capture program because the return is going to be good, you know. Um, so just let me know in the comments. Let me know what websites you guys use, what programs you use for that. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to start shooting cook-ups. I was going to do vlogs, but, like, I don't want to go out of my way to do extra shit in life just to have interesting things to put in the vlog, you know? I mean, most of my life consists of getting up, making beats, eating, going to sleep. And, you know, it's not much you can vlog about that. But um, occasionally when I go on trips out of the state, whatever... Or even downtown, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some vlog footage in there, you know. And um, I'm just gonna put together one big vlog out of like all those days and weeks that I've been doing shit. And um, it's gonna be like just one big episode or whatever. Who knows? Might do that if it interests you guys. But for the most part, I will be doing live gaming again. Probably like every weekend I'm gonna do like a live game, live streaming. Uh, I wanna do, I wanna put out like a new beat every Monday or some shit like that. Um, or new music in general, either, either that I produce, made, whatever. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and cook ups. I might do cook ups like every Friday, either that or like every. Wednesday and um like tutorials and tips, quick tips, whatever I might do every Tuesday. So yeah, I'm trying to fill up the schedule, weekly schedule or bi weekly schedule because you know, being a musician, you might not be able to get everything in in one week. You might be busy, you might be traveling, doing shit. So, you know, I might have to do everything bi weekly. But that's fine with me. I'm just starting to get more content out for you guys. You know? Yeah, I haven't been uploading a lot. And I've been privating everything. And the reason I've been privating everything is because, is because I'm just... I'm just not satisfied with a lot of the content that I put out. You know, you know I notice things that the average person, because mainly because I created the content, notice things that I just... Uh, self-conscious about the content such as like the craziest things like the quality of each beat is different on each video and that's just an inconsistency that I don't like and obviously with mp3 files you can't really tell difference in quality especially when it's on YouTube but I know you know you guys don't because you just listen to it but I know and it's an inconsistency that I don't like so I just end up privating this shit and like starting over. So next year, I'm going to try and minimize that, you know, I'm going to put everything on private again, um, probably January 1st. So enjoy these videos while you can. But, uh, you know, January 1st, I'm going to redo everything that I've done. I'm going to redo this tutorial. 
I'm going to redo my mastering tutorial. I'm going to redo um, a whole lot of shit. I think the only thing I'm going to leave up from this era will be uh, the No Favors 2 official release trailer and probably the No Favors 1 um, trailer. Um, but that's it, you know, I mean, this is why I don't upload like people who rap off my shit. I used to upload a lot of their shit to my YouTube, but like, I kind of don't want to anymore because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make it seem like I'm fucking anyone over by putting everything in private. <laughs> it's just, it's just a problem I have. Like, if you want to get a platform through my channel, it's better to just build your own platform and start building your own platform by making your own YouTube account and putting your own music on there because going to end up happening is I'm just going to private the shit and uh, yeah, it's just something I do with all my videos. It's... <sighs> I don't know. I never delete them though. You know, I want to keep the views. One day, one day I'm going to like just unprivate everything and uh, just have it as a little museum on my channel. So there will be that day. It might be the last week before the new year. So I just unprivate everything for a whole week. So you guys can just go through the entire channel from first video up until last. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. I might upload. I don't know if Dex is going to drop videos to the songs I produced. Or if it's just going to be on the album. But um, hopefully I can be able to rip it off like SoundCloud or some shit or hopefully I get the song sent back because what I'm going to do is I might as well put them on my channel right and just you know collect some views off that and um, whatnot so yeah um that's it for this video uh again it's your boy Glohan or Glohan Beats but uh yeah uh, have a nice day, shit. Peace out. This video should be coming out in, like, the next 30 minutes after I record it, so should be out around 3 p.m. Central Time, or even before that. But, yeah, Glow On Beats, man, you know, teaching y'all once again. Enjoy this video. Peace.